Again. We're going to hook up the EcoFlow power generator to the ISCO VL60. We want to see how long EcoFlow will actually last. It's rated to 880 watt hours. Uh, at least we'll take a time once we get everything hooked up. We have already cooled the ISCO down for 24 hours. So our temperatures are reading the freezer at zero. And what's the refrigerator bed? 36. 36 degrees. So it's it's stabilized, so we'll see how long we can actually power, what the uh, consumption rate is on this. And we'll, we'll probably be back tomorrow, 24 hours later, to take a reading and, uh, and then the following day. So, you ready? Okay. So, I've, I've already hooked up the 12-volt uh, connection from the ISCO. I'm going to go ahead and plug this in real quick. We're plugged in there. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, we are plugged into the 12 volt into the Echo Flow. All right, I'll go ahead and turn the power on here. We're showing it 100 percent right now. So we're not we're not powered up over here yet. So let me go ahead and turn that on. And we have power going over here. So right now we're powering the Echo or the Iceco VL60 with the Echo Flow Delta Mini. So I'm going to make some adjustments here because I want to go. We're going to go ahead and put it in Echo mode right there. So it's showing right here, we got 12.5 volts. So we'll just give it a second. Okay, the compressor for the ISCO refrigerator freezer just turned on. So as you can see, we're at 100%, but at the present consumption, it's bouncing anywhere from 36 up to 51, I think, uh, watts, that's an hour. We're going to see how long this will last. Keep in mind that the compressor's not always on. It just went on to maintain the temperature at zero, freezer, and 38 refrigerator. So it'll shut back off. So we're going to see how, what our consumption is over a 24-hour period and then how long it will last. So the compressor just shut off. If we take a look at the display here, we show that we are using zero watts, and right now, if we stayed in this uh, configuration, we would have 99 hours, and we left. Used, left, and we used 99 or one percent of the battery. So we're probably using maybe about 25 watt hours is what it will figure out to. But we'll see in the end. We're going to come back in 24 hours and take a look at our numbers, see how much power we use consumed over a 24 hour period and that'll give us an idea of how long this will actually last. All right? So at 226 tomorrow we'll take another look at this. And we'll see if it's still on or dead. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and we will be right back tomorrow. See you tomorrow guys. Hey guys, so it's 226 now. 24 hours from yesterday. <laughs> After a 24-hour period, we've got 15% of our battery left. Just take doing a quick addition, subtraction. We have maintained our temperatures where they need to be for the duration of the 24 hours. And we have averaged about 31 uh, watts an hour uh, based on what's left in this 15%. So I think that we can probably get about 30 hours. Uh, without any input to the solar generator, to the echo flow itself. So, really impressive. The ice coat is rated from the manufacturer to use about 60 uh, to 65 watts an hour to operate it. So, we're well below that. Really happy. Now, this is a very controlled test. Obviously, when we go to camp, it's going to use a little bit more because we're going to be getting in and out of it. Out of it. But uh, I, I think it's going to work well for us. Is there anything else? Uh, I'm going to go ahead now. We'll just hook up Echo Flow excuse me, to a 110 power source. So we'll be 
charging the echo flow at the same time that the echo flow will be providing power to the refrigerator. So let's do that right now. I think you're fine. Our input right now is at about 190, <coughs> excuse me, 190 uh, watts. Uh, the nice thing about the echo flow delta is that you can go ahead and watch that number. I can increase this up to about eight or nine hundred watts. Is it the faster? Yes, charge? so we can actually charge this solar generator at about an hour to an hour and a half to be completely charged. That's the fastest one on the market. So you can see this is our input and that's our, our output. So I don't want to charge it like that right now. I'm going to charge it slow just to show you that, that we can do that if we need to at camp. Oh, okay. All right. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in our next video. Bye. What is it? Bye. <laughs> okay, baby. Good. One, two, three, go. Aloha. You're so fast, baby. Right now, you there's no... Yep. Did you see it again? Okay, let's go ahead and disconnect the 110 power. Say it again, baby. Babe, I can't... Because... Because... What? Because when you say it, like, my camera is, like, up here. Okay. And then you're talking. <laughs>